Assalamu alaikum, my dear brothers and sisters. I have a um, D Link router here, as you can see. D Link DWR M960 router, and it doesn't work now, it bricked. So, after the firmware update, it got bricked, and now it's not working. When I turn it on, as you can see, just the power light hangs on, and otherwise, it doesn't work well. See here. But it's not, still not working, okay? Even the Wi-Fi doesn't show in the laptop or your phone. And even the, uh, even the cable doesn't work well. So, first of all, you have to what? Connect to the internet in your laptop. Then, go to the any browser. And search for um, DWR for a model number. M960 firmware, okay. Just download the firmware from this website, okay. And it's the same the router. I mean, I'm, I'm using here. So click on the option, then download the latest version of firmware. As you can see, there is version 1150, there is version of firmware 1151. Then download this. Uh, folder file okay it's complete now downloaded so as you can see I have already downloaded this file in this folder okay so I have already downloaded this file so first of all you have to cut the router to, with your PC or computer okay now turn off then as you can see there a reset button here Yes, that's it. Okay, if you have this button here, then press one here. Okay, then what to do is press and hold the reset button for five seconds, and then turn the router on and keep pressing the reset button for ten seconds at least. Hmm. Okay, now it's enough. Okay, then if you have not to do any network on your laptop, just turn it off. Okay, then take it on a cable here and put it in your PC or computer. Yes, that's it. And now go to the settings. Okay, then Select the network and internet option. Then select Ethernet. As you can see, it's still identifying, but it's not showing any any kind of uh, of your model number or anything because it's now not, not not working. So choose change uh, adapter options. Then that's it. Then a cable it's still not working. So what do you know? It's very very easy to fix it up. Very easy. Okay, first of all, we have gave you the this um, RAR folder in the description. As you can see, there is I've extracted it already. Open it and see. Okay, so you have to first of all change the IP address of your laptop or PC to this and default gateway to this. Okay, so now. I'm going to this option. Hmm. Okay, this, this is the network. Right click on this option, then go to the status. Then, what it is, as you can see, there is no any default gateway address. Then go close it up. Then select properties. Then select internet protocol version 4. Then properties. Okay. Then use the following IP address. So you have to choose this option, use the following IP address and put the IP address here. Uh, yes, this one. 192.168.1.1 Okay. This is 192.168.1.1 Sorry, 1.2 Then, just click on 
the the uh, submit mask option okay if it doesn't fill automatically so you have to write this put this number 255.255.255.0 then here put this number um that's it 192.168.16.6 excuse me 192.168.1.6 okay that's it then click on ok then close 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 as you can see they're showing network that means it's now connected properly to the uh, router then consider the go to the browser okay just search with that number with the that i put it here wait hmm in the browser put this number 192.168.16.6 so that's it put this number here 192.168.1.6 then enter aha uh -huh. that's it emergency web server then you have to upload that folder that you downloaded from uh, from dealing website a farmer just choose the file so choose the firmware file of your model mm. that's okay and there's a latest version of firmware file here I don't know which one let me see ah that's it 1151 select open now then click on upload wait for a little bit hmm as you can see dump power down now we're gonna file and you will see the there's light will be blink let's wait for a little bit as you can see now these lights are blinking and even turned on yeah that, that's not working well and that was very easy to fix it up upgrade successfully okay then use the browser okay then go back to the settings okay yes you can see so go to the change adapter okay then right click on this and status you know the properties okay then select internet protocol version 4 then obtain an IP address automatically okay set this then okay then okay to close and now you can see it's now showing the model number it means now it's working well then go to the page okay go to the browser then search uh, and click number 192.168.0.1 sorry the dot one this is the same login of the number as you can see here yes that's it exactly okay then press enter hmm now it's showing okay login that's it now it's working well go to management upgrade oh, that's the version number 1.1.51 Okay, goodbye, that's it. And please like and follow, share our videos. And please subscribe to our channel, the Smart Brain channel. And thank you so much for watching this video.